normally we would use a wire laying machine to put the wire uh, into the ground that kind of cuts a groove and then um, lays the wire straight into there. Um, in this case, since we're doing such a small area, I'm going to do it by hand. Um, but before I actually bury the wire, which I'll end up doing, I'm, what I'm going to do is just peg out the wire, um, which means putting in a peg every metre or so. So if you looked at some of our other videos, you'll see that um, I often use a bamboo stick, which has got marks on it to measure out the various distances, which are the key distances when you're laying the wire. So here's my stick. Um, so I've got various um, measurements on there. Um, the key ones really are kind of the distance from the edge of the wire, or sorry, from the edge of the lawn that you need to lay the wire. So normally for the majority of our mowers we talk we talk about a 30 or a 35 centimetre gap from the edge of your lawn to where the mower goes. On the 20 um, it's much smaller and has a much um, tighter turning circle so the recommendation there is is 20 centimetres from the edge however you do need to be careful um, especially as you get to corners etc where the front of the mower may over um, may overhang the wire, and if you put it if you lay the wire too close for some to an object, say you've got a wall or a border or something, or a, sorry, solid border, then you may find that 20 centimeters is slightly too close on the corners. So do be careful of that, which is one of the reasons why in this case I, I'm trying to lay it as close as possible, but I'm gonna I'm gonna tack it down first with pegs just to um, make sure that I get it all right. As you can see here, I've roughly pegged out my first section of wire, so I've got some spare wire at the beginning, so it's longer than I need, just in case I need to move the base station. I've stuck a couple of, roughly stuck a couple of pegs in, and then I've just drawn out the wire down to where I know I'm going to make my first turn to go across the path here. You can see I've put in a peg to hold it, about 20 centimetres. And now what I'm going to do is just work my way along, putting a peg in every metre um, and making sure that it is 20 centimetres from the edge because the edge here is not straight, as you may be able to see. So here we are on a shorter lamp. So this is kind of uh, just so it's a bit easier to see. You can see I've got a peg here and I have a peg here. Short lamp wire between them, but so knock the peg in and as you can see pull it tight it's still a bit proud so we take a peg run it on one side of the wire run it on the other side of the wire pull it tight and there it is that's sitting much better now and then we just knock the peg home again and move on now we've come to a corner and if you look at the manual, it says don't have right angled, don't have the wire at right angles. If you think about it, the mower's got to follow the wire. If it comes to a right angle or a sharp turn, then it's going to have to navigate around that turn, which isn't good. So here we've got on this side, we've got the wire 20 centimeters in. On this side, we have the wire 5 centimeters in. So the idea here is that the mower will run with one wire, one wheel on the grass, or one set of wheels on the grass, and the other set of wheels on the um, paving, and the idea, and that makes sure that it will cut over the edge. Now you can do that, but only if you've got something where the mower will grip. So if you try and do the same with shingle, it won't work because the wheels will just spin in the shingle. So if you, but and if it's not at the same level as well, that'll cause a problem. If you've got it at the same level and it's nice and solid and the mower won't slip, then you can have it five centimetres. So here what I've done is 20 centimetres here, five centimetres here, and if I followed the strict, say, the strict um, distances, so five from the edge, 20 from that edge, I would end up with this corner. So what I've done here to get the 20 centimetres, I've taken my rule, I've measured 20 centimetres from there, 20 centimeters from there so really what i want the peg to be is more around there as you, you might better see that rather than where it is at the moment 
So what we try and do is take the uh, sharpness out of that curve. So we'll pull this wire, this out. We'll move it over to here. We'll get another peg. And we'll move that over to somewhere about there. And now if we start to pull that wire tight, you can see just about that. No, not quite. We need to put a little bit more of a curve in it. There we are. Right, so that's now at 20 centimetres. So we've taken the sharp edge out of there and we've created a radius curve of 20 centimetres. So you've probably seen on the base station there is a groove that runs all the way along. So the idea is that you place the wire along that groove, it pops out through the end and then back into the um, the point on the base station. When I'm just laying these out to uh, make sure I've got the right position, I always put the wire underneath and that just makes it easy to move things around um, before we start putting it in its final place and nailing the base station down. Two wires and we've got two connections, a red and a black. The incoming wire goes into the red. So what do I mean by the incoming wire? So it's the wire that's coming into the front of the base station. So looking at it from above it would be the clockwise wire because that's the way we've laid it. So we pop that one in. A bit hard to do one-handed but let's see if we can get that done. And the other one in. And then if we look on the top we have a green light which means we not only do we have power we've also got a circuit as well.